Hello and welcome to the Underdogs Podcast number two. How are you guys doing? I'm good, thanks. Fantastic. Good. Great. So I got a bit of a question to start off today's podcast. What's everyone's favourite cuisine? Cuisine? Mm. Yeah. I, it I, means your uh, food. Oh. Like brand of, well, brand of country of food. <laughs> brand of country <laughs> of food. Like spaghetti is Italian brand. Well, I guess I'll, I'll jump off the gun then. Mine's probably Italian. Yeah, I think that's why Italian I thought too. it was Mexican, Zach. It was, and then people bullied me for thinking that, like, the fast food burritos was Mexican. <laughs> so then I think I kind of felt obliged to swap. I think I was the leader of the bully, Zach, about saying that brigade mm. because you don't eat onion or tomato, so I decided that you were <laughs> not, legally not allowed to say you like Mexican anymore. Oh, well, my favourite is Mexican, but I don't like tomato. <laughs> oh I See, what I don't like I... tomato, and I feel like that's pretty big in Italian food as well. That's tomato paste, though. You don't like the texture of tomato. Yeah. But they don't have a lot of raw tomato in theirs. I mean, I, I assume they do, but they, it's a lot of tomato they... paste. I just well. hate tomato. That's the devil's fruit. Yeah, thank you. It's and it's terrible. barely even a fruit. Like it's a, good it's fruit. a sneaky fruit. It's, yeah, it's really good. It's refreshing. It's cool. It's good for you. What Goes was thoughts on, on tomato, Jackson? Hey, thoughts on tomato? Great. Okay, so we got a 50-50 <laughs> split. Comment below whether tomato. Uh, actually, that's not going to work out for me and Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it or hate it? Yeah. yeah um, it's so my favorite cuisine is Japanese. I like Japanese food mm, quite a lot. Cool, cool. Mm. There's a lot of different ones. It's, it's all very good. <coughs> Weeb. I only had <laughs> I only had sushi for the first time like three weeks ago. That is how is that possible? Very good. It's so hard oh, you to liked believe. It? Yeah, I loved it. Made, you, it. made it myself. Did you avoid what? it, or like did it just not happen? It just like my family just they never bought yeah, neither. sushi. I'm an adult. Yeah, but it's like you I just yourself. I just buy like when I'm out I'll just bring a sandwich with me or something. Yeah, Jordan know? doesn't buy a lot of food out. He always yeah, brings his own. Or the Hunger Jacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instead of making jo- Jordan himself sandwiches, he's going to start making himself sushi. Yeah, that's what I did. Like two making weeks yourself ago. sushi is crazy. Very um, great to bring to tournament. Was it hard to bring? Make not bring? Um, yeah, it was like a it was like a bit of an activity. Did you have one of those rolly <laughs> things made out of wood? Yeah, yeah, they're good. From Coles. I've yeah. made sushi before. You got to put some like glue in the rice. Like it's no. different rice. No, I wouldn't. no, no it's you... not glue, but it's like sticky stuff that you no, know. You sushi can... actually means sticky rice. Like that's what sushi means. You can yeah. buy sushi rice. That's what I bought. Ah. I know it's not like pouring the Elmer's into the rice, but it's, it's <laughs> stuffed. I don't know what stuff it is, but it definitely makes the rice stick just together. A, yeah. It's just a special type of I mean. rice, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it like... I bought sushi rice and it's oh, sticky. Oh, so you don't put anything in it? No, you just buy the rice. Wow. I think it's like vinegar and something else. Mmm. <laughs> anyway, Jackson, what's your favourite food? Cuisine. What's your favourite brand oh, I think mine's food? Italian, for sure. Italian. I don't really get the hype around Italian. What's like not to like? Consistently like, good. It's just all mm. the... It's, I'm, I'm going to offend so many people, but I think it's a lot... tastes the same to me. Yeah, but you can't go wrong with How many carbs, times did you have cheese, mm. tomato, and meat. It's and pizza. that's like... Yeah. Pizza's Italian. Yeah. Oh, that wins. Like every different version of Italian <laughs> is basically some form of carbs, some form of cheese, tomato, and meat. And it, like in different ways, yes, but they're all good. If I like fresh like tasting stuff, not heavy stuff, you know? Yeah. What fresh... Like a piece of lettuce. That's pretty fresh. What's your favourite cuisine then? Frickin- Japanese. I said oh, that. I was going to say the Madagascan jungle or something. <laughs> 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 I actually eat leaves off the tree by itself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. You go out and pick fresh fruit every day. <laughs> mm. Fruit's so good. Fruit is good. <laughs> I mean, eating lots of mangoes. Do you guys like mangoes? They're I expensive, do, but they're, dude. They're so <laughs> expensive. Mangoes and blueberries. So expensive. I actually can't remember the last time I've had a mango. You should all go home and buy a mango and eat it. But they're expensive. You eat avocados every day. Oh, but they're good. <laughs> <laughs> so are mangoes. I do have an avocado for like every breakfast. I am the definition of a millennial. YouTube Me and my smashed avo. <laughs> Brooke Boy records a YouTube video having some smashed avo. <laughs> Bananas wins for me easy. Best fruit. Yeah. Really? So easy. Very, Very consistent. Late. You know, I have lame. a bit of a... <laughs> How are you calling me lame? <laughs> Banana is such a loose seed of made fruit to like. <laughs> it's so optimal, though. It's just like... You, <laughs> you just bring not... it. It's true. Yourself. You can just pack you it You just anyway. bring it and you eat it so... Like, I used to like apples, but it takes so long to eat. Yep. I just gave up. You so have your, like, I room temperature bananas. water and your banana. Yeah. That's the loose seed of lunch. So good. Just you know, nice. I used to have a phobia of bananas. Have I told you guys about that? <laughs> What's that phobia called? Oh, is that? I might quickly Google that while I'm telling this story. I yeah, I can, I, I'll Google it while you tell a story. So yeah, you can so uh, back when I was like probably like eight or nine or something, 
I used to, like, I didn't enjoy the taste of bananas, but also I had a bit of a fear of, like, banana peels and just, like, they're very slimy <laughs> and disgusting fruit if you don't like them. Do you play Mario it's Kart like, one too yeah, many times? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there was this one time where we had a big suitcase and my sister was like, my sister would always prank me, like, she drew a fa- an evil face on a banana and left it on the toilet seat and that legit jump scared me when I wait- <laughs> went to do a poo. And I went in and there's a banana peel on the seat with an angry face. And, and then I was the like, room. ran out of the bathroom. I was like, what the hell? My sister's pranked me. It's just called <laughs> banana phobia. <laughs> I had a yeah. feeling it was going to be that. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like most cases begin in childhood when one has been forced to eat bananas by parents. Yes, <laughs> that was it. Because everyone told me bananas were so good for me, but I just didn't like them. And then like, <laughs> this, the peels are like disgusting. Some children develop a fear of this fruit after having slipped and fallen on a slimy banana peel. <laughs> Nobody actually does that. Like, you actually story. slipped on oh, a banana no. peel and it's been traumatic enough that you have a lifelong <laughs> trauma about it. No, the, my traumatic experience, so the culmination of all these pranks was we had this big suitcase and my sister was like, oh, it would be really funny if you like got in this suitcase and because it was like very big and I was quite small being a child. So we unzipped this suitcase and I got in and I was like, ha how funny is this? And my oh, sister no. chucked a banana peel in <laughs> and zipped it up. And then it was a very like thin kind of suitcase bag. And I literally ripped it open. I was going crazy. Oh. And I ripped this suitcase open like at the zip and just like, I was so scared. It's like, you're like <laughs> turning into the Hulk. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like peeling out of this suitcase because of a banana. That's savage. Yeah, peeling out. Am I right, guys? That's a crazy <laughs> prank. Yeah, pranked. <laughs> so that was a bit traumatic. I don't think I've had a banana for like the last 10 years. Wow. What? Oh, really? You hadn't had sushi for 21 years. <laughs> like, give him a break here. All right, Zach, do you so want to lead us off first yeah. segment of the podcast? Yeah, so this is again. the one uh, leaded by me. And what I want to know, guys, is I'm going to give you a few different animals. And I want to know if you think you could beat these animals in a fight. <laughs> and oh, if so, how this. many at once? Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to start with a bit of a questionable one against a wolf. So we'll start. Peter, do you think you could beat a wolf in a fight? I think I could beat one wolf, but I don't know if I could beat two wolves or more. What's the technique for beating this one wolf? Fight to the death. <laughs> I'm going to offend like, every dog lover. <laughs> no, no, no. That's why I said wolf. It's not a household dog. Oh. It's coming at you. you Curve have stop to... it. <laughs> All right, maybe you will offend some what's, dog what's the terrain? <laughs> Where are you fighting this wolf? Yeah, on the street because there's a curb. Yeah, like if you're fighting on ice, you could definitely win, I reckon. Yeah. No, maybe it'd be harder. No, Peter's come out of the club. He's got some alcohol and adrenaline coursing through his yeah. veins. Wolf jumps on him. He loses. He's drove dog. Yeah, I think I could beat one, but definitely not two. You know, they're pack animal, but if it's, mm. if it's on his own, lone wolf. That's how, how would you beat it, Jordan? I think. Because it's just going to... Is it angry at me or am I if surprise attacking? If you say attacking? Like outspace it or something. <laughs> you, both, you both know you're going to fight each other, right? That's yeah, like... yeah, yeah. So then it's coming at you, like yes. full on. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it comes at you, but it only has one area that it can fight you, which is its mouth. Claws. So you just... Nah. <laughs> Surely. No, no, I want to hear this, yep. And so it's like you'd kind of have to just stop it here, like with your arms. Is there... Oh, this, this is, is literal, terrible for the audio podcast. This is literally out space. <laughs> Jordan is going to play defensively and bait his approach. <laughs> <laughs> if you position yourself right, it'll jump into your hands and your feet and then you can like start kicking him underneath. Yeah, you do actually have Gouge longer limbs eyes. than a wolf. Yeah, exactly. Curb stop. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but he might outspace it and punish you. <laughs> anyway. Oh, <shut laughs> Jackson. Ever you beating the wolf? <laughs> I think you can beat zero wolves. Yeah. Yeah. They just bite. If they bite you in the right spot. You're like, let's imagine they grab your ankle and they like bite the tendon. You like can't walk. I think you lose. That's what I'm saying. If you know it's coming, you got to full on commit and like have your but like, hands it's, ready. It's be- it being low also helps it. I feel because you have to like bend down. If it attacks your ankle, you I think if it jumps it. up on you. But how much can you... Ki- they can dodge the kick very easily. If you literally go like... Because you're like, not if they smart, bite though. your ankle, you can't walk. What if you just stepped on its throat? It's not Muhammad Ali. You can kick it and it's not going to dodge throat? it. I, I think you how can't... How much does a wolf weigh? I think it'd be They're like pretty 40 big. kilos, maybe. I think it'd be surprisingly heavy, maybe like 70 kilos. No way. Because no? if you strong. imagine a German... Yeah, if you imagine like a German shepherd, that's a big, that's a big boy. They're, I feel they're like that'd be similar. kilos, right? I think I you guys more, underestimate more. the power. So you like you envision a wolf, and it's got like blood rage, just pissed, right? Yeah, exactly. 
you don't often see a human in that kind of flight or flight situation where you've also got blood rage. And I think you underestimate the weight advantage and how much, yeah. if you are real, like, angry, if you could just, like, if, if they only weigh 40 kilos and you weigh, like, 70, 80, that's such a massive advantage. This is what I said when you were saying I couldn't beat a fucking goose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I changed my mind about that. <laughs> goose. Really. That is also, that was going to be my next animal as well. All right, a male, sorry, a male wolf is 30 to 80 kilos. See, yeah, if it was big. 80, you might be in trouble. Yeah. A big. female is 23 to 55. I think a, a, I'm range. thinking a big boy 80 kilo you couldn't, range. but maybe a smaller wolf you could. Oh, different types that was the largest like I think ever recorded was 80 kilo. So no, well, no guys, one's that one. I mean if you're like a 500 50. kilo human because that's like the heaviest human ever recorded, <laughs> you are going to sit on that wolf. Like I don't know if that's a good measure. They're not reaching the tendon in the, the sorry artery in the ankle <laughs> to pop that. <laughs> you're it's only fat. Built in defense. Fuck. <laughs> So good. So, um, goose. so we've established that we could beat a goose in a fight, but how many geese do you reckon you could take at once? What's the critical mass of geese, Jackson? Do you get a bat? Critical mass. <laughs> <laughs> There's no weapon. You know, it's yeah, you're not it's equipped, fist right? fighting. Okay. Oh, geese are Does the goose get a gun? <laughs> they all attack <laughs> like, at once. Uh, yeah, it's like you're su- sort of surrounded. Like the surrounded. Final, <laughs> the final moment of an adventure movie where like all the orcs are like in a circle around the And you're having like heroes. a beautiful like thing is to die <laughs> but it's just seven geese around one person <laughs> Jackson what do you reckon I'm thinking I feel like three. Oh man you oh, underestimated oh. geese are geese get like idiots geese are idiots yeah no geese are pretty smart Peter's completely That's 180 we've talked about geese fighting before and you were in the strongly in the realm of like geese would mess a human up and then <laughs> dude I could uh, take on like 10 geese yeah, yeah. yeah. Jordan, easy their necks are so Thin. You could roundhouse <laughs> kick and get like three, <laughs> you know, just keep going with I it. I think Jordan is picturing like in, in moving, uh, like what's it called? Yeah, they can fly. They can all, all these animals can move. You're like, oh, just kick the wolf, but it'll just move. How no, about it's such fly. a big, like, area? Yeah, that's, of, that's, that's one. A hit. And you just keep going. You just keep going. <laughs> You can like run tower back. defense. The geese keep coming You're and he keeps kicking You're faster than geese them. are, right? I don't, I don't think so. No, not if they fly. I think you kick one, you run, and then they start coming at you, and you turn around, kick no, another, they're, they're not and starting, then you run. They're all at you. They said they're surrounding me. No, they're so already that, here. That's why you start running. Do you going to dash Then back as quickly? they're coming, you kick nah. it in its neck, and it'll, it's got no chance. Peter, what's your geese number? <laughs> I think maybe even more than 10. Maybe 15. Uh, you guys are fools. You guys have heard my strategy for killing multiple geese yeah, at break once, the right? No, no, no. You First, you grab one by the neck. <laughs> and you sort of like Hulk... Lo- you know how he smacks Loki side to side yeah, yeah. in those movies? Oh, anyway, yeah. Anyway, you grab the goose by the neck. The goose... The first goose becomes the weapon for the next 20 geese. <laughs> and you use the first one as a bat... It's a very weighty end to the goose, so it's like a mace almost. <laughs> I think your leg is probably stronger than a f- yeah. little goose body. No, 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 but the, the like... <laughs> you can put more force behind a kick. I think you can put more force behind a And you got your bones. Goose. I'm picturing Zach just as Banjo and Kazooie just doing forward <laughs> smashes with this freaking goose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a sack full of potatoes, but it's a goose. I and th- the more you hit, you just add them to your, like, clump. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually it's like a cat of nine tails, but it's just geese. But why not 16? What's the difference between 15 and 16? I mean, I feel like you could just say 100 at that point, but if they all came at once, you'd be overwhelmed, mm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe more than 15. I think three is a very low... You know how you much they weigh, Jackson? They're only like three kilos. Like, they're pretty light. Mm, yeah, I'm trying to think of how it would kill I don't me. think they could do any damage to you, right? Like, it's more just pain you're enduring. You're not going to get real Yeah, I'm probably not going to die. Quick. Like, I know their people. wings are powerful. I, the people, a bunch of comments being like... Clearly, you've never seen a goose kill a fox before, but I'm like, I am a lot larger than a fox. Goose has killed fox? I think, I'm not sure if it's like common, but I think they have. <laughs> that okay, can't I'm be sticking real. to three, that's, that's fucked up. But like, they have powerful <laughs> wing beats because they fly, and so they can whack you and like, yeah, apparently yeah, yeah, you'll see that geese you flying around over. you, that changes the game. You'll lose, you lose, they'll peck your eyes out, done. GG. They have bills, they don't even have pointy beaks, they can't peck shit. I reckon if it gave your eye a fucking hit with a bill, you're in trouble. If you're not protecting your eyes, you, you deserve to lose. So you go like this, and then how are you going to fight the other 14 geese? <laughs> well, Jordan was talking kicking. Maybe it's eyes covered kicking blindly. Yeah, just the do strat. the uh, start hitting air, and if you get in that air, like, what are they going to do if you're just swinging your arms around and kicking? I think you could one hit a goose with a kick. <laughs> I think it's fine. I feel like... <laughs> one tap. <laughs> we've sort of explored the geese enough. What about, like, snakes? A snake? What type of snake? Yeah, that's um, big depend. Oh, one of the, like... One of the small but poisonous ones. Zero. Oh, what's fuck. the ones that are like hell quick and they're like? Tss, they I reckon we kill each other, but like a rattlesnake. Yeah, I, I reckon it's like a double yeah. KO, I double knockout. It's one. 
Like, they're just going to hit you and you're gone. Like, in the time you're poisoned, you could easily just stomp it. Yeah, yeah what do you define you die. as winning a fight? Because it, you'll probably get bitten by one and you'll die later. But how many can you stomp in, like, the five minutes <laughs> until you die? Maybe snake's not the best. Like, you got uh, snakes hanging off you just stepping here. on a bunch of other snakes. Have you seen, like, those, like... The, like kids who are like still like in tribes and stuff and there's a snake and then they just like grab it yeah they just like they're slap crazy. it crazy yeah well I don't know how to do that yeah maybe yeah, exactly. venomous animals ain't the best for this because it's mm. kind of like a double down right well my next one is freshwater crocodiles Ooh. you know like the little ones yeah like, oh. like but they, they do got... get up to like two meters yeah, they're, they're not really just little oh, dude, yeah. I mean there's specific ones that don't grow that big right are they the babies I just mean, like, not the big saltwater ones, because, I mean, no, ev- freshies, everyone's like, losing a, to that. a lot smaller. Yeah, a freshie. But they're still, like, a metre. Yeah, but they're still, like, one to two metres when they're full-sized. How are you fighting... going to kill it, though? Are we fighting on... Le- yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill it's it. It's got armour, dude. What armor if is... you could just pick it up at a certain angle and drop it off a building? Pick it up by the tail and <laughs> swing it around, like, you know the hammer throw in the Olympics? Mm. If we're fighting on top of a building, I've got <laughs> no, a No, 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 but I'm saying <laughs> if you could grab it from behind... Like, the design of the crocodile is a bit flawed. I think I could be right one in a fight. The design like, of a does human a cro- is terrible yeah. compared to a crocodile. How does a crocodile attack you if you're holding it by the tail, though? How are you getting to its tail? Dude, crocodiles Ooh, are quick. that's good. You gotta <laughs> sneak up on it. You guys are underestimating animals, I feel like. Uh, I, zero. I think I you're underestimating think a bloodthirsty human. I don't think I could beat a crocodile. I saw a water crocodile. I mean, a freshwater it's crocodile. A fresh you can. I don't know how... I can't picture how big they are. I don't know. Maybe the... Because there's different types of alligators and crocodiles around the world. So, in Australia... There are two main types of crocodile, right? There's the saltwater or the estuary crocodile, which is the biggest type of crocodile in the world and the most dangerous one, which is freaking huge. Yeah. And I don't think any of us think we could ever be one no. of those because they are nuts. Oh, see me after <coughs> a few beers. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the freshwater crocodile, which is a different species and a lot smaller, but still a crocodile. So, yeah. I don't know how big it is. I don't think I could beat it. It's got... How are you going to kill it? Yeah. Compared to it killing you. But, like, We've Steve Irwin little... used to tackle the get, big boys. Yeah, you can get behind And this them. is just a small yeah, he was boy. tackling them. That's not killing them. Yeah, but, you okay, you you know how you, he would jump on them, like, be on top of them? And that's sort also of like, in a situation where the crocodile's not aware you're fighting. But that's, like, that's why the crocodile's flawed. If you get on top of them and hold yeah, their mouth... Yeah, how are you going to do that? If the crocodile's ready to fight mm. you, you do not if get on top of the If you're both on each side of the ring and the referee's like, go, yeah. it, you can't. <laughs> you you can't. can't. Oh, oh, just don't look, man. I think <laughs> you can dodge the freshwater crocodile enough to get on its back. Yeah, I see, I, I'm Like, they me. could lunge at you, jump on their back, and then you just sit on its back, and even though you probably don't have a lot of killing power, just wail on it from behind for, like, ten minutes. I think that'll Stab hurt your hand more than it hurts the And they'll death roll you, right? They, like, roll you over. They're not big enough to do that. They're not heavy enough for a freshwater. I think if you punch a crocodile, it does more damage to you. Mm-hmm. What about kick? Yeah, same. I don't think you're doing any damage you're, to it. You're not going to kill it. All right. I think we've, this one's divided us down the middle. <laughs> Leave yeah, in 50, the comments. 50. And if you're not listening to this on YouTube, don't know what to tell you. Tell your mother. Even in the UFC, they wear gloves because otherwise you just break your hand. I know, but you know, you're on its back. You don't you have, have to punch time. it. You just poke the crocodile in its eyes. Anyway. <laughs> our next animal is going to be rats. Oh no! Like the real, the real big ones. But like, how many, how many do you reckon? Do you think there's a critical oh mass my of rats? God. Yeah, if there yeah. was just a wall of rats coming at you like a wave. <laughs> That's that would like be honestly terrifying. my nightmares as well. And they're like, ee! that is scary. You just hear this like increasingly loud, like ee! as they come closer. What if I you wish continuously you just had a jumped? I guess you'd get tired. But like, <laughs> you would just land and kill rats with every jump. Yeah, they can jump. Like, jump up on your legs when you land on the floor. Oh yeah, like they rat, you like rats a tree. can jump. Yeah. How many? I don't even know what the number is. I've, it could be five or it could be a hundred. Oh, way more than five. <laughs> if you can't beat six rats, there's something <laughs> flawed. I'm thinking like a hundred. How are you going to hit these yeah. rats? Kick them. Just swing. Yeah, but then just one jumps stomping. on your leg. Then, yeah, and then one's going to punch it off. It's not going to kill you it. by jumping on your and leg. It's going like, to give you a bit of a nibble. I reckon a hundred. Uh, no. Oh, no. 100 easy. I was going to no. say like two or three. Easy. No, you guys, no. <laughs> and you could do the Jordan strat where you just run away and then like... <laughs> Kick one. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably faster than you, right? No Rats way. are faster than humans. Rats are fast, bro. No, Have you ever tried to not. catch a mouse or a rat? They're I've... agile. Surely. I think they're more agile, but top they're speed, not, you got some distance. Than, if they were zooming towards you, though, you could get a real good punt in. I swear, if you lost a 100-metre <laughs> sprint to a rat, that's Peter. embarrassing. Oh, faster, this is eh? embarrassing for you. Rat top speed is 8 miles per hour. <laughs> Damn. Can you imagine you saying Bolt's running and a r- the fastest rat in the world is out You know what Corgi is faster than you saying Bolt? <laughs> Wait a minute. I might have been looking at the wrong, fast, the wrong page. Four, four legs helps you a lot. 
Yeah. yeah. Shit I'm, adaptation, to be honest. Two legs. Humans are terribly designed. No. Nah, I mean, humans can run take. on four Just, legs if they want. Humans are badly designed Not, to fight things. We're much smarter, which is why we wouldn't fight animals. I think you'd be surprised. I think well, just because we, we don't in fight this things, you underestimate the human just because we don't often fight things. Is this because we got spears, so we're OP? <laughs> we have so can we get tools. a final rat count? And then this I think that'll be my section attacking. done. 100. 100 rats? Oh, I'm just going to say like 50. Oh, I was going I don't know how you tell, though. I reckon these I rats I literally are... have no idea. It's a lot. <laughs> it depends how coordinated they are. <laughs> Jackson, stick with five. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to reckon... What if all the rats pile up to make one giant rat? <laughs> 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 then they can just get straight on your head. It's like the Transformers. <laughs> yeah. They all join together. What's the million lions thing where they make, like, lion Oh, a trillion or lions versus oh, every Pokemon. It's lion so ladders. Lions win easy. Lion that's ladders a, to that's go That's a reach topic for another day. But I think who would like to go next? That's I'm, my segment done. My segment's quite right. different to yours, so I think that works. <laughs> that was a great segment. Oh wait, are we rating the segment? Oh thank you. Do we have to? Do we want to rate oh, yeah, segments or yeah. do we want to leave we'll that? Rate, we'll rate, rate the segment. <laughs> this is better than my last week's one, so um, I give that one an eight. It, yeah, I was going to give it an eight. I'm going to give it a seven. Thanks, guys. There's always only one person who always puts the score a little bit lower, doesn't <laughs> I just don't like mm. picturing myself fighting animals. Yeah, look, disclaimer, none of us actually want to harm any animals, no cruelty involved, but, you know, theory crafting's fun. This yeah. is just if we're on an island and they're attacking us. Yeah, I, I feel like there's going to be so many comments of people have been like, mm, you're underestimating rats, mm, you're underestimating geese yeah, and stuff. A, and that's like, what I think. I know I probably am, but you guys are underestimating the humans. If have, the comments are, faith. you're underestimating rats, then I think <laughs> we're fine. I think... Uh, 250... Anyway... We're going to move on. Uh, I, in my segment, we're not going to be playing a game. We're just going to be getting to know each other. Perfect. And the audience will be getting to know us a little bit as well. Hey. So I'll be asking you each a question. Mm-hmm. And the idea is, is I want you to talk about it for a while and expand on it. And it's something that I want to know about you. And I'm sure the audience would also want to know. And it's, it's not like super personal. It's just, hey. just getting to know you because this is the second episode. <laughs> it's just nice. Do you have a Going good relationship deeper. with your parents? <laughs> <laughs> not super personal. <laughs> All right, so Jordan. Yes. You have previously said that you were really good at Call of Duty before you got into Smash, right? Yes. And like you said, you were better at COD than you are at Smash. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think it was in a video. I've yeah, seen yeah. him play. He's very good. All right. What about competing in video games appeals to you so much? And why have you gotten so good at video games rather than something that would be con- uh, considered traditionally uh, like more productive? As in like, <laughs> well, you know, people like, people respect... <laughs> elite sports people or people who really knuckle down and like become a doctor or something and clearly you have competitive things in you. You know he plays basketball. <laughs> Isn't this the conversation you had with your mother this morning? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not as attacking way, but what about competing in video games appeals to you? Is basically okay, my I like this question. That's a good question. Um, I think it's because <laughs> I'm not naturally gifted in uh, term, like I've always really liked sports and then basketball. Obviously, I like I was good like, really good at basketball, but my natural uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> height, uh, whiteness, <laughs> the uh, old thing. <laughs> athletic ability, athletic ability kind of hinders you a bit. But video games, you can just choose to be, like, a top-tier human, you do know? You, do you think that, like, there's, like, uh, what's that thing? Like, base skill? What's it called? Natural talent? Natural talent. For games? Yeah. No, yeah. Really? You do? Yeah. Yeah. I think there is. And I so, think do you Jordan think you have it. that? As yeah, opposed I think to, like, it, sport, you don't have that as much, is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, I guess so, because I guess, I think everyone's brain is different, so you have to have some natural talent for everything, just because otherwise you're saying everyone's brain is the same, yeah. which I don't think is real. Oh yeah, it makes real. sense. I know some people don't think like there's a as much natural talent as like hard work in video games or whatever. Oh, I think hard work like always beats it, but it's uh-huh. like... I and feel like for the things like that, like when you get to a super, super elite level, yeah. that stuff starts to matter so much more. Yeah, definitely. Then everyone is all putting in insane amounts yeah. of hard work and then the mm. stuff, the natural talent stuff starts to trump It's like how quickly you stuff. can learn new stuff, I yeah. reckon, it's as like, well. It's Especially like yeah. games. elite sports is most noticeable in that because then, mm. like, for example, basketball. Mm. There could be someone who's five foot two and works extremely hard, but they're never going to play at that top level because then it matters. Because I can just stand like this. Yeah. Yeah. Them, but they, they might be shoot. good at a lower level yeah, because they're hard sure. work and travel. But at that very high level, everyone puts in a maximum amount yeah. and then it's just your natural talent. I right? feel like but, you see that with games. There's like someone who's just like a fiend practicing all the time and then there's like this one guy who Luke plays Dr. Zoo. every like, now and then. Yeah. Those yeah. are the two that come to my head. Yeah, people yeah. are just naturally good at it. Yeah, yeah. just like I think you've got a gamer brain, Jordan. 
Thank I think like games you pick up, you sort of like your brain's already trying to think of like the, the best way, to, way be to play. And like I have, I don't have that at all. Whenever I play like first person shooters, I'm so bad with just like I just like run out into the open and like yeah, I'm truly immediately well. get shot because I'm like. <laughs> Oh, it'd be cool if I, like, shot you. I never think to, like, peek around corners. And, like, that's never the first thing I think of, like, to be actually, like, play properly. Yeah, I think that combined with I really like learning kind of fuels that as Mm. well. Because then it's like, I want to learn more. But it kind of screws me, like, when Holly, like, my girlfriend and I, like, we'll play a new game. And then we'll play it once if she beats me. And then she'll, like, never beat me again. (laughs) (laughs) So we just... Download the boy. Yeah. (laughs) We're just always playing different, like, games, whether it's board games or whatever. Because it's like, we can't play something for too long. And I'm like, I'm going to win. Well, did you... But you say you really like learning. Did you, like, have that experience going through, like, school and, like, your, like uni work that you're doing not uni <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that's like surprising no, to me if you're, like, I think it's something I don't know there's something in me where it's just like I really like beating someone at something it has to be a competition like, yeah like even I think the first thing that I remember it starting was like year 4 I was really good at maths and I just loved doing any math game where it's like you got to like shoot the sheriff shoot or the something. Shoot the sheriff, I was about to say. Just that anything like that. Yeah. And then Call of Duty. And then Underdog shoot the sheriff anyway. <laughs> I mean. Basketball. I don't know. I'm just really naturally competitive, I guess. Yeah. And Do I find any, it a like, lot of fun. Any board games that are like seem to be a bit more competitive like Catan or like strategy games I, li- yeah, I like, like strategy chef, board games but I oh, haven't because <laughs> like I feel like you would get really good at a game like Settlers of Catan yeah I just feel like it would be a waste of time like I should just play Smash Bros instead yeah. <laughs> what a enough. sentence <laughs> <laughs> but I get really uh, obsessive as well like yeah. when I first started like playing Smash Bros I just like play it heaps because I'm like oh I want to learn and get better and then beat people what was the question? <laughs> it was about why, uh, like, you that well. why do you like being competitive in these things? Because I feel like that's the biggest difference between me and you with playing is that you like winning more than me. So you yeah. actually try to win, not at all costs, because you still make content. No, you're but competitive. But in a tournament setting, you're like more win at all costs. I th- I Peter just... liked winning, he would not play Cuckle. <laughs> I think it's just something about me. I really enjoy the aspect of learning how to beat something you previously couldn't beat. Like mm. even mm. playing video games single player, I'd put it on the hardest difficulty. I wish I had that. Yeah. I hate that shit. No. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm so, so lazy. I think that's what it is. And then it's just like, I like doing that with everything. And then I do video games instead of sport because I'm a skinny little man. I feel like, like you can, like... I mean, you, you got the man go part. The, that's one You could thing. go to the gym. You could work on that. You know, get obsessive about that. No, like, but basketball height is huge. You have a bigger sport than fits your body type. You can go, go to the uh, stretching rack. Yeah. <laughs> You're not that short. For basketball, For basketball I'm very there. short. I was always the that's shortest. True. But I feel like there's there's a sport for every kind of body type, almost. Oh, yeah, but I just like Smash Bros. Yeah, like, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, I'll stop grilling you. <laughs> Zach. I like that question, Ooh. though. Great question. Is there, like, one question each? Yeah. Sweet. Um, What would you say your best overseas trip has ever been? Because you've been to a fair few places mm. now. And why? Uh, I think it has to be going to China with... You guys would know Snuffles from some videos. My name's Nick. My that name's guy. Nick. <laughs> uh, also, my mate Andy, who's he's been in like a video once, but he was I staying think... over in China for six months, like learning Chinese and doing some teaching over there. And so it was him, Snuffles, Nick, me, and a guy called Dicky, who Andy met over there. And we did some like traveling around China, and that was like the first trip I think I had ever been away that was just me and my friends. So that's why it's kind of like the most memorable one. Yep. And then I also have like so many memories from that. Which stories have I told from that trip? I don't think many. I mean, you told the Chinese I'll t- mafia well, bar one. Yeah, like there was that's this one as. time uh, where we were on a... We had to get a 16-hour train between two cities because there was a bullet train, but it was like $300 compared to like 70 and then like three hours compared to 16 hours. So, of course, <laughs> us being all like money-saving like 19, 20 students. year olds. Yeah. I don't remember how old we were. But we went on this uh, like really, really low class train for like 16 hours. And there's just like people that couldn't get a seat were like sleeping in the aisle in the middle. And there was one guy just eating cucumbers and staring at us. <laughs> he <laughs> well, had like this you big this- cucumber <laughs> and he just munched it like it was a like banana or something. Like you don't see people munching cucumbers like that. But this guy was doing it and then he finishes a, an entire long cucumber and he pulls another one out and he's got a bag of like <laughs> he <wasn't> six <laughs> like he was not done 
<laughs> it's just like it was just so strange. That's such a weird fruit to eat a lot of. Yeah. The cucumber. Yeah. Veg- oh, vegetable it has before, seeds. Before the oh, comments sorry, actually, sorry, everyone. It has seeds, does that does that beat your America trip? The, the, the more recent one, the one for Smash. Yeah, it does because while well, the America trip was really good, and I got to meet a lot of like uh, you know people I knew from YouTube and Smash in real life, including like uh, Alfred and like Coney and Danish and all those guys, which was really cool. Um, guys, uh, just to come in, uh, cucumber is a fruit. Oh, Thanks, okay, Google. Okay. It has seeds. Get ready. Yeah, thank you very much. But <laughs> <laughs> my America trip was like also by myself, so there were quite a few moments. And oh, it was also really crap that Hero came out on the plane over there. So I was like, I need to get some Hero content up. So I was recording some videos like in my hotel room, like on a the fucking grind. loser. Yeah. <laughs> like, and just edit it for like four hours in the hotel room in Vegas. <laughs> Because, like, it was more than worth my while to get up hero videos, because otherwise it would have been two I weeks. I mean, the content boom when characters come out is too much Ridiculous. to deny. Yeah. Like, Vegas, I was staying by myself, and then, like, that was that was also a good experience, because it was my first trip away just purely by myself, like, not knowing anyone. And I went to Vegas for EVO, and I went over to Washington for SmashCon. Uh, so that was really good, but it didn't beat the experience of just going away with, like, four friends for a month and, you know, just, like, going to the Great Wall, going to all these That's Chinese high. cities. China just sounds like it's pretty wild, as in, like, there's lots of random shit going on. Just mm. up, yeah, and like... different culture compared yeah. to just going to America. Yeah, it was, there was, like, a lot of just crazy stuff, because they're, they were not really, like, lenient with the laws, but they'll turn a blind eye to, mm. like, a lot of things. I feel oh, like if you get caught, really? you might be in trouble, but then, like, a lot of people are just, like... Yeah, acting in grey yeah, area like, or whatever. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking about anything well, illegal. I can't believe you did that, um, I remember you were, like, also sort of thinking about coming to China, but that was at a time where you just did not have money. I had no money. <laughs> yeah. I was so poor. So, like, we definitely need to do another trip. Just, mm. like, I haven't done a trip with, like, a good group of friends yeah. for, for a little while. I've and never done that. won't be a little that. while still. Hard. Yeah, I'd be keen to go on Underdogs Go to Japan. Underdogs Go to Japan. I would really want to go on another snowboarding trip. I want to film you eat shit trying to do like a backflip on a snowboard. That'd be amazing. I'm not trying to do a backflip. I've never seen snow. I'll do it for the content. You haven't seen snow? No, never. That's crazy. I actually haven't seen it in like 20 years probably. Oh, so that's pretty much not seen snow. Yeah, I pretty much haven't seen it. I can't remember (laughs) snow, so. Oh, yeah. I've never seen it. All right, Jackson. Oh, good answer, Zach. Good job. Thanks, hey, Jackson. Well. Good answer. My question. All right, if someone had only watched your videos on your channel and on the Underdog, so watched all your videos, and then they met you in real life, do you think that they would be surprised to know what you're like in real life, or do you think it'd be like an accurate representation? Do you think that you'd meet their expectations, or do you think you'd be different? I think I'm definitely different. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, I think even what if they watch the podcast as well? If uh, yeah, I feel like underdogs, you get a better idea of who I am than my channel because I'm acting for the most part mm. on Director yeah, Connor. Definitely. But I still feel like I'm probably different when the camera's off as well. Probably even more chill. Hot take: You're sometimes way sillier in real life. Oh yeah, dude, which when is we were like out of the bar the other night. Oh yeah, if I have a couple of on drinks, an absolute yeah. roll. You I get say the funniest shit. I get I get a bit, but like I get at a bit Smash silly. Mages, oh, I missed out on this. Do you, oh. do you notice that, like, oh, God. Uh, uh, speaking to Jordan here, do you yeah. notice that when we go to Smash Majors, Jackson almost, like, amps up his personality? You know like, what it is? I, think Jackson... nah, I just, I get exhaustion at Smash Majors because I can't sleep unless I'm in a good bed with, like, that my sleep hygiene's good. And at Smash Major, I just get, like, don't have the filter in my brain, so just, like, <laughs> I say anything and do whatever. Does so that you just sense? go basically loony because I think that's basically the most pure tried. form of myself because I'm like <laughs> have no like uh, filter basically. I'll just do irrelevant shit. I'll start talking to people about like how I'm scared of bubble tea or something. Like that. <laughs> I think every now and then you'll get in like the like the showman kind of yeah, mood. like the performer mood. Yeah, yeah at the performer definitely... mood, like at a party, it'll come out yeah. or something, and it's like it's, it's usually after a few drinks. I'll time. just become very silly. Yeah, that so is... I feel like if they meet you at a party. Uh, then it's like it's actually kind of the same no it's pretty worse yeah but probably like more personality... like they wouldn't be surprised this guy isn't chill at all <laughs> <laughs> this guy's insane if you did that all the time I'd probably get sick of it if you're oh, always like Dude, I get sick no of it. filter silly yeah but like I run out of energy being like that as well and it mm. just is a terrible yeah. cycle of just like having no energy by the end of a major yeah you get like Bad, hell bad sleep, don't you? You yeah. just have insomnia. I can't sleep. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so. so what was the question? <laughs> Do you think someone would be surprised to meet you in real life if they'd just watched a lot of your videos? 
I don't think I'd be super surprised. It probably depends on where, like, the context in which we meet. Like, yeah. the number. if I've had some drinks, I'll just start doing really uh, silly stuff. A it surprise, it, but a welcome uh, one. <laughs> Jackson went drunk. It reminds me of, like, when I was hanging... Oh, it was at a party, and Holly, yeah. she was, like, talking to me. She's like, wow, you sound like you're doing your videos. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. Like, I am the dude in the video. Yeah. Then she was saying that you have a different voice when you're on... Yeah, I think me and Jordan have more YouTuber voice than you. Yeah. The old, like, talking normally, and then it goes to, today we're going to (laughs) be doing an Elite Smash challenge. I think my energy fluctuates a lot, because obviously she spends way more time with me as well. Like, when I'm just, like, at super low energy mood, I'm just, like, (laughs) very, like, just chilling. Also, I was at a party, so I was probably higher energy than I could be in a video, which is probably part of it. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what I, I ask because some people have like a switch almost or some people kind yeah. of like fluctuate between ranges. And I'm just wondering what you think you are now that you're starting your own channel and you've been in the underdogs yeah. for a few months now. I think now. like even the Schmuel character is a little bit like me in some senses. Like very... I think so, yeah. yeah. If I'm in that perform mood, I'm a bit like that. It's obviously super exaggerated, but that's how I write them in a sense of like imagining mm. the most stupid, ridiculous, like, what's the word? Unaware point of view that a person could have. Yeah. It's a bit because your channel is, like, a lot to do with you wanting to get better, like, acting experience and writing characters as well. Yeah. I feel like if you were just purely yourself on your channel, like, doing vlogs or something, it wouldn't really be where you want to get to. Because you want to be, like, an actor or a writer or something. Definitely. In film, right? Yeah. So then, like, vlogging doesn't get you there because you're always playing a character in any, like, TV show. Yeah. Unless you're like a host for Australian Idol. Unless you're like oh, Jack Black and he gets to play himself in every movie. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black's insane. <laughs> All right. Well, that's my segment. That's done. a you great a segment. That I give good. that a legit nine. Wow. That, those those questions um, were super thought out. Yeah, they were very personal. I really like that too. I we got, I, I'd also give it I'll a give nine. I'll give it a nine. Hey, yeah, guys, can, can we get, when we get post Q&A video, like Twitter things, can we get questions like that? I was going to say, this is like our Q&A videos, but without terrible questions. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you eat Sonic? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you imagine it? I was like two heartfelt questions. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, Jackson. <laughs> we like- actually get so much content of three questions. When we do a Q&A and we answer 30 questions and each one has an answer that's like yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in our most recent Q&A that's not out yet, I don't know if we'll be out when this comes out, mm-hmm. we said, leave your questions for the next Q&A in the comments of this one. Yeah. yeah so- and so you, the answers better be freaking good, guys. <laughs> well, leave them here as well if you haven't seen the other Yeah, video. please, leave some good questions. I feel like yeah. we've asked people to comment so many things, the comment section just going to be absolutely amazing. <laughs> different answers. Ooh, that's fine. More interaction. Someone's like, <laughs> someone's like, hey, what's your most intimate relationship you've had with a yeah. family member? And, like, and then someone below us just like, 80 wolves. <laughs> <laughs> That's the PS, 80 wolves. Yeah. All right, who would like to go next? Okay. I'll go last this time. Yeah, yeah we'll okay. just move I'll, along I'll the couch, next. I reckon. Wait, what did you give the segment? I Nine's all around, round, bro. Okay, all round. Yeah, it's, nice. very good. it's the new best segment. That wow. was. That was a very good question. Oh, really? Did you... What did you get for... No, I didn't do that. E-girlfriend. You got eight, You got eight, nine, nine, ten. No. Eight, eight, ten. You, you, someone gave it a ten, you were like, no tens. Oh, maybe, okay, if that's, maybe I got to change to eight, because that wasn't better than YouTuber wants an e-girlfriend. Ooh, anyway, we're moving on to Jordan's. Segment. All right, well, I just have less personal questions, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, all questions from dating sites, like when you sign up for the dating <laughs> oh, site. That's very good. And you have to uh, answer the oh, questions. Oh, these are the worst. So, this first one. This nice and chill. Are you uh, a cat or a dog person? Oh, I feel like that's only hard for me. Because I've owned both, like, you my have whole owned both. life. See, the thing is, I've had about, like, seven cats. But then my closest... Re- all of which I loved. But then I think probably my closest relationship with an animal ever has been with my dog. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, like, I guess I guess I have to say dog. But, like, wow. it's very close for me. Because, like, my two cats are the... Like, I don't even have a dog at the moment. And I love my two cats so much. Can we talk about having a dog bit? What? Um, what's his name's face? Oh, whose no face man? did it die? No, no. Was it Alex? No, it wasn't. My dog it, definitely it wasn't a Smash bit Bros someone's person. face. It, it wasn't. Was... Who was that? Oh. <laughs> this is good content. Oh, this is terrible Jessie? content. No, no, no. It was... Oh. Is that... 
Xavier? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that you guys know, but it's like, <laughs> at a party. It was his own fault, to be fair. No, Ziggy's this, so placid. It was guy, like... Zach has the cutest, like, tiny little white dog. It's a little spoodle. A little spoodle. And then this guy <laughs> just goes on hands and knees. Completely intoxicated, by the way, and just starts barking. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually being aggressive, like, roof, roof, roof. Yeah. <laughs> and then Ziggy just bites him on the face. <laughs> Understandable. 100% Go deserved Ziggy. it. Yeah, got him. So good. No, he used to love parties because he was a big foodie, the old Ziggy. Oh, yeah. And then, like, just chips drop into the floor like someone places the like party pies on the lower table and he's like free real estate <laughs> oh. uh, so hot me, dog what's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. clearly it's cats my name is after a cat and my whole family are crazy cat people like it's oh, actually really? ridiculous like my my grandma has the best cr- like cat stories it's it's so funny because she had at one point 16 cats <laughs> like oh, no. I'm not kidding when I'm saying she's a crazy cat lady she like she's too old to have a cat now because she lives in a home did she have a husband uh she did he wasn't a massive fan of the cats <laughs> <laughs> uh, like they I think they they did divorce though so th- this I think was after and so she was renting a house she had 16 cats oh, she was not allowed my. to have 16 cats in her rental list she was allowed to have one <laughs> right and so she's also a school teacher primary school school teacher and so she, the day before her rent inspection, she goes into her class at school oh, and she no. goes, hey guys, today we're having an assignment on learning how to responsibilities and taking care of things. Oh, genius. <laughs> so all of you guys get to take a cat home for the what? night. And so she gave a cat to all the kids in her class, had a rent inspection that night. And then got all her cats back the next day and went back to having 16 cats. That's so smart. Big brain. That is actually legit. Good job, For all those adults, like, all those parents just buying one night's worth of cat like, food. I feel like, yeah, like, the, <laughs> like the, I think it must have been the 70s or something. It's just, like, a different time, you know? Yeah. People just loose on the streets. I had to take, like, a little baby chicken home Yeah, from it's school. the same kind of thing. Like, you know how people have you those dolls and do stuff? Anymore, I don't reckon. Yeah, I don't what, think you can do it with a cat. Chickens? Oh, I don't reckon. I don't think you'd be able to take anything live home anymore. I don't know. Nah, I can't remember. I think you can. I don't know. People have like those dolls and stuff for that where it's like the baby cries oh, and stuff. You know, yeah, have you seen those? Yeah. The egg. You take the egg home? You yeah, the egg? you have to and take egg. care of the egg. It's yeah. got a little face drawn on it. You never guys, you guys never did that? No, I had chickens. <laughs> you are, you're, yours hatched. Egg 2.0. <laughs> what came first? <laughs> Am I right, guys? Jackson, are you a cat or a dog person? Dog, not even close. I, not I'm yet. allergic to cats. Yeah, well, I, I kind of like, like cats, the cats as well. Yeah. There's so many people that are. Oh, when we first got, like, uh, our last cats back at my parents' house, my dad was, like, thought he was allergic because, like, he kept getting, like, the sneezes on his pillow or, like, something. And he was like, it's either me or the cats. The cats need to go. And then we were all like, no, the cats are so cute. No, we want to keep them. (laughs) And he was like, can't believe you want to keep these cats over me, your own father. And then it's like... (laughs) A week or two later, he's like, oh, I was actually allergic to my new pillow. <laughs> it's like something to do with the cloth or like the dust particles. And then he had gone on this massive like, it's me or the cats. Oh, I used to get really bad. Like we'd go to my Nana's house and then it's just like, we would leave when I just couldn't deal anymore. Like I'd be crying yeah. and my <laughs> eyes would be red. Mine like swell shut if it's like overnight. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's like so unfortunate. Me. Sucks. Which sucks because I have two cats. At home, which is <laughs> awful. Whoops. You know, I had people over and I didn't even think to mention that we had cats because I'm just so not in that mindset of it matters. Yeah. And people were just like, oh my God, where's the Clara time? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am oh, dying. No. And I was like, man, I really should have warned you guys. But I think like you can have dogs that are much worse than cats and dogs that are better than cats. But I guess I'd go... What, allergen-wise? Yeah, so oh. just, like, as a... Like, dogs have more personality, yeah. kind of. Oh, some like, dogs are shit. Our dog at the moment... <laughs> Mum, you haven't done a good job training. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like, it just goes crazy. What's all the dog's the time. name? Ted. Throwing Ted under the bus here. Shout yeah. out to Ted. Ted, you're not good. <laughs> you're you're not a good Ted. boy. You're not good. Um, okay, this next one is Do you like horror movies? Oh, no. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. No. I really hate them because I get I get really jump scared. Yeah. Peter can oh, tell yeah. you this. Like I'm editing, oh, yeah. and Peter will like knock lightly on my door and be like Zach, and I'll be like, <laughs> like do a dude, ma- that just scared me. Oh. That dude made me a fright too. <laughs> like it, I just get jump scared around the house all the time, and then it's like the opposite for Peter. I go in his room, I'm like. P- 
Peter, like yelling as loud as I can. And he just like slowly turns around, takes one headphone off. He's like, oh, hey, man. <laughs> Do you like horror movies? Uh, no, I hate them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny though, because like, I lit- what was it I was doing the other day? You were in the garage. I walked out the door mm. and I walked around the corner. And I went, oh, hi, Mark. In the quietest <laughs> voice. And Zach's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> jumps at him by doing like the softest, oh, hi, Mark of all time. But no, I don't like horror movies either. I just like, it doesn't scare me that much. And jump scares aren't pleasant, but um, I don't get jump scared that easily. I just don't enjoy getting scared. It just doesn't hit the right shit in me. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, Some people love it. And I just don't, I don't, it's not a positive emotion as far as I've been taught. So you could make great content by just filming me like getting scared. Like (laughs) vloggers do that all the time. Like David Dobrik scaring Natalie. Crap, I like... will start doing that. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> oh, shit. Why There's always those that? videos on Facebook where it's just like some guy scaring his wife it's over just, like oh, a year. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like all the compilations. Peter doesn't even need to try. <laughs> Jackson? Oh, no, I don't like him. I like, I just find the horror genre a bit of a hack, mostly. Oh, I find yeah. the films are that interesting. I watched a few ones that I think are like good movies and then they're good, but a movie that's the horror for the sake of being a horror kind of sucks. I think opinion. maybe if there was like a girl that really liked them, I would tolerate horror movies. Yeah. If I was like, oh, into them, and then they like loved uh, horror movies. Yeah, and I'm not watching them anyway, unless they're like really good. No, I saw a couple of movies with my last girlfriend because she really liked them, but I still never liked it. Like I went along to it because I was like, meh. Do people get? I think people must just find it like a like going it's on adrenaline, a roller coaster, right? you know? adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I honestly don't know. I don't think I've seen a, a legit horror movie. Like mm. I literally don't know. Well, how about we get some sushi and we can watch one <laughs> together later? We can have some snacks. But what do, do you know that game Amnesia? Mm-hmm. It's like a horror game. Mm. I played that and it's like I got a total oh, play time of seventeen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I like turned off the lights and I went to play and I, I Steam legit, was just shaming you with that playtime. Crapped myself, dude. Um, all right. This next one. <laughs> Which is worse, starving children or abused animals? So this is from dating apps. Yes. Asking you. Well, what I mean, fuck? Star- starving children. Actually, probably not. Oh, oh. why do I have to say <laughs> one weird of these? question. Like, I just think children are less cute than animals. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go with starving children. But it's not... No, What's don't you worse? mean? I thought so. They're oh, less cute. abused animals is worse. Oh, okay. Do you guys? I don't find babies cute. Oh, not at all. No, no I still way. appreciate babies are just pudgy pies. I wish and... babies were born at like four. That'd be <laughs> yeah. way better. Like th- like three year olds. <laughs> like when they just start toddling about, walking. Like they're they're kind of cute. But like when they're first born, and people actually think they're cute. Yeah. No, no, no. But a- baby animals are so cute. I'm I definitely going with the starving children being worse. Like. Although abused animals is bad, I feel like just human life is much more valuable in my books. And yeah, making me look bad. No, oh, you know, <laughs> cool. I agree That's with cool. you on the I like because I did a lot of sports coaching and trampoline coaching and stuff, and I always preferred the older kid classes. I don't like babies or like kinder gym classes and stuff, but they're gonna grow up to be adults one time, and I just value human life more than animals getting abused. Look, when you put it that way, I would probably agree with you. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> I just wanted to make the point about human babies being ugly. Yeah, they are ugly as fuck, though. Little bald shits. Jackson! <laughs> I don't really like people, so... <laughs> Going with Let them go. That Jackson's the right. one starving the children. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay. um, could you date someone who was really messy? <laughs> could they date me I, yeah. that's the <laughs> yeah. I mean you can literally see can in see the background it. of the camera all like, this shit on the piano but that I'm... shelf though <laughs> oh we're doing the podcast today right Zach we're not just like if you pull the green screen up it's hidden from the world but the green screen's down we got that nice messy background so yeah, I think the question is nice. could they date me so well, Zach, appara- apparently Zach the is, answer's no Zach, yeah. here I am <laughs> with the fellas <laughs> Would you be, like, bothered if someone was as messy as you? Or do you think they'd have to be less messy than you? Otherwise, you'd just, like... Look, I think it would be good for someone to motivate me to be cleaner myself. Yeah. But, like, I would probably just feel bad if, like, I don't want someone cleaning up after me. That's why, hopefully, it would motivate me to be more Mm. organized. But then I also don't think I would mind if they were as messy. Because then at least I wouldn't feel bad. That's true. (laughs) I imagine no house, hmm. though. (laughs) Yeah, but then, like... They just become a famous YouTuber as well, and then we can afford, like, a cleaner or something. Yeah. Genius. <laughs> so, Zach did a date on ass messism and then buy a maid. <laughs> Solved your problem. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> Fix your relationship. There you go. <laughs> um, Peter? Yeah, I think it's fine. I'm a relatively messy person myself, but it doesn't, like, 
doesn't bother me. I don't get bothered by mess at all. You know, some people like one thing is out of place and they're just pissed about it. Yeah. They're just like, they're like clothes not in a washing basket or something. just makes them angry. It doesn't even bother me in the slightest. And like yeah. people are, when you get in someone's car and they're like, oh, sorry, it's such a mess. I'm like, there's like care. a t-shirt on the Yeah, thing. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> even if it is a massive mess, I don't care. And most of the time it's less of a mess than my car. So I'm like, you're good. Don't yeah. think I've played my car in like two years. Genuinely. Dude, I remember last time we went through it and we were pulling some gems out of the boot. We were like, <laughs> oh, look at this so long. Like, yeah. So much good stuff. Uh, for me? Wait, mm-hmm. what was the question again for the exact phrasing? Um, oh, I can't find it now. It was a, could was you it? date someone who was messy or really who messy? Who was very messy. Could very you? messy? No, I couldn't. Yeah, I don't think I, even very messy. I feel like only in the last like year or so though, I've gotten better about it. I'm yeah, my and life I in really the last like year has it. changed a lot, but I'm definitely like quite tidy these days. And it, but stuff like you talking about the washing basket is definitely kind of made. <laughs> this is looking real bad for the single fellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a second. <laughs> Two guys that have girlfriends are like, yeah, prob- like, I'm not that messy. Like, couldn't. Date I used to be was. terrible. I didn't care at all, but then I don't know something changed, and I'm like, I actually just like. There being nothing. Well, is it oh, I love there being no mess. Yeah. But I'm not going to clean it. You've got to you get a maid. Yeah, this maid looking good. Is it since you started living outside of home, Jordan? Oh, I still live at home. No, but you do the, don't you do the house sitting thing? Yeah, you have Oh, sitting. yeah, yeah. So you do like Occasionally. live out of home. It's not like you're always a... Uh... But even my room now, I keep really clean. Yeah, but oh, I feel like it makes yeah. a difference once you start living by yourself because then it's all your problem, right? Yeah. And then true. it accumulates. You're like, man, I should have dealt with this ages ago. Yeah. No, I like it just like... You know the classic where it's like, you clean it finally. It was like the worst thing ever. And you're like, I'll keep it like this forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then it just gets trash. I've actually done that enough times where now I've like, I've hit it. So it's like, nice. I just leave like two socks on the floor. I'm like, nah, let's it's just so do that right now. It's so easy to maintain now. once That's, you get it. Once you teach me. It's good. about the mentality. Teach me, Father. How many more questions you got, John, by the way? Um, I'm just reading them. I could do like one more. I've been doing this. Because we could... But, like, it'll probably just go on for a while. Yeah, it'll go on for two. We can, more. But we like, can do, like, quicker answers. We can, like, save it for, like, next week, even, if you want. <laughs> this question is just, are you Jewish? I'm just imagining <laughs> Hitler made this website, the wow. dating website. He's like... <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, well, we can move on to the next segment, if you one like. One more question. Yeah, All right, one, one more, more question. Pe- not that one, though. Um, if you were to die... Would whoever goes through your personal belongings be shocked with what they find? <laughs> Do you Ooh. have like... Wait, oh, if who's special, whoever? Like anyone? Just a oh, complete stranger. Like just to think of a I mean, really normal person. They wouldn't be, they'd probably be surprised because they don't know me if they're a complete stranger. <laughs> but do you have anything where it's like they find it and I'd be like, what the heck is this? I don't have anything that bad, but I have things that might look weird to people who don't know me, like all my stupid musical instruments. The and cosplays. Like a lot of gaming the stuff. Cosplays. Yeah, the cosplay costumes. But in terms of like vibrating fucking massive <laughs> dildos or anything like that. Like, I have nothing really to hide. <laughs> like, I can, I can explain all my possessions. But you're dead. You can't explain it. Well, I, that's what I mean. Like, some things might look a bit weird, but then... If it was me going through it, I'd be like, yep. Yeah, like... Yeah. yeah. So you don't have a secret drawer Anyone that knows I'm a YouTuber is a weird would, question. like, not be surprised at question. all. Is this a question from the dating app? Yes. That's so <laughs> funny. Who would admit this? <laughs> They're like, I really only weird. want people that have hidden possessions <laughs> so I can kill them and I feel find like some people like being mysterious. Yeah, you know? like, like kind of interesting. I feel like for a lot of people, there's more than meets the eye. And that's a kind of way of saying that. But is it more than meets the eye in possession specifically? Well, like, if Maybe you, if you have, have, like, a sex swing. What if you have, like, for that? it's all about sex stuff. <laughs> I mean, well, I might what be What else would you be, like, really, like, really like not a... wanting people to find? If Child you... pornography? <laughs> Guys. Oh. But I'm being serious. We were talking like... non-sex stuff. But, like, that's, like, stuff that's, like, illegal would be shocking. Yeah, well, let's all get that out well, of Well, what about, like, if people, like, <laughs> people do, like, drugs or something and they wouldn't admit it to their friends or something? Yeah. And they might have, like, a crack pipe or something. I don't know. Yeah. And like, but see, I don't have that either. So yeah, yeah. I think the answer is still no anything. for you. But I feel like a lot of people have like hobbies and stuff. Maybe you, you like drawing in a notebook, and other people, you, it's like your secret little thing or something. I feel Dance. like I've got one thing in my bathroom that I like, but I can't remember <laughs> what it is. But I just remember, God, this is. So Why don't we go have a look? <laughs> I remember thinking like, oh, no one find that. <laughs> Will the flashlight reveal next, next no, video? No, no, it's nothing like that. I want to think of the actual thing to save my bacon here. Oh, I, I think it's just a pair of scissors so that weird. I use to cut my pubes sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's yeah. Fine. 
Do you but guys like, like trim or is it like? I'll oh, definitely trim. I'm not a shave. Yeah. Shave scares me. Yeah, but like, have you ever done it? No. Before? The first time I did that, and you get so itchy. It was <laughs> Wait, like like full on razor shave. Yeah, I don't. I use like electric, like beard trimmer, body trimmer to go like a one. Yeah. That's but like then, trimming, like, right? But then, like, sometimes you just want to get in with the scissors because you can't go straight away with the, like... Yeah, for I sure. I mean, I've had a bit of a jungle before. you got to, like, <laughs> trim it back before you get the other trim on it. Well, yeah, that's you true. you got to, like, trim it back yeah, a bit before you go in... Stuff without being weird, yeah, before you, know? you go in with the electric trimmer. Hashtag not sponsored by Manscaped. Because want... it sucked, right? <laughs> I don't think we can include that. Yes, we can. You can give your personal opinion on a product. Yeah, but, like, did they pay me for it yet? <laughs> They don't pay they you, right? The free, they, pay nah, they sent me the free product. Yeah. And it sucks. And that gives them immunity? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I got a... So, yeah, I was going to do a sponsorship for Manscaped, and then they think... They advertise the fact that it can't cut your skin, and that's just because it can't cut your fucking pubes. <laughs> Like the motor is spoon. This is like a spoon. A money back guarantee if this cuts you. He was like, Bull fuck. I will say, uh, although I haven't used it much, they come with like a ball toner and a like ball deodorant and that. And like, ma- maybe I'll use that yeah. next time I'm going out hitting the clubs. I think this is the first ever like anti sponsorship I've ever. We're not sponsored by Undies yet. We might as well just rip into everyone. Well, like they haven't contacted me for like the last six months since they we initially like talked mm. about it, and so I was just not going to do the sponsorship. But now I guess I'm putting them on blast. <laughs> Anyone else have anything weird? Um, I've got a I've got like a couple random things, but like it's not like can it's we know super... them if they're not too bad? Like uh, I had my one. No. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like they're too bad. But, like, I feel like... Is that, like, a gag or something? Oh, I mean, I chucked that one out. (laughs) Used. (laughs) (laughs) Too many bite marks, I had to chuck it out. Jackson. I don't Uh, think we've heard from you. See, if it's whoever, I don't know. I feel like someone will be shocked by something I have, I'm sure. Give us an example. I feel like that's not the point of this question. You just have to leave it to the imagination, right? Yeah, yeah. All All right, right. well, I've gone too far. (laughs) All right, well, that's it for my podcast, my segment. Good, good job, sir. Good, six. Seven. I liked it. Yeah, I'll go seven. Uh, oh! Do I check the camera still working? Oh, yeah, I think it it's is. It's on the screen there, yeah, so you it can is. see it. It's just cam linked. Okay, my segment. I've come up with a bunch of small problems, and you have to invent products to fix these Perfect. problems. Jesus. So I'll read you out the list of problems, and you can pick which one you want to sell me on. Okay. Do you want me to read them? How many are there? Get... Are there three? One, Do we two, get three, one each? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel like you should go one by one and then just. Everyone comes out with a product? Right? Yeah, or like whoever's got the best idea. We don't all need to have a It's like whoever wants to go can go, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll read it. The first one is getting a runny nose. <laughs> Oh. So it's got to be like a, a like a convoluted invention. Just, yeah, come up with the most like basically stupid thing you can what think about, of. What about, you know how when you get a runny nose, it's usually because you have a high temperature? What about like... Is it? Is it? I don't think that's it? what causes a runny nose. I well, think what that about like time. an... Uh, you know, like a clown red nose that like goes over your nose and this like straps around your exactly head? exactly what I want to hear. Yeah. yeah. Except it's like an air conditioner. <laughs> So it's like constantly <laughs> freezing your nose. How's it going to be runny if it's not solid? I was thinking Ooh. a similar thing, actually. Yeah, like and then that like plugs some ice it. up your nose. Mm. What about a nose vacuum that's just constantly plugged in? <laughs> so the other way, it just continuously <laughs> yeah. runs. Why well, block <laughs> yourself up when you can suck it out? I'm Where is it getting a... sent? I'm going to buy Peter's idea. I feel the like that sounds vacuum. a bit more interesting. I feel like we oh. need a bit more information where this is, like, oh, yeah, actually, is going. Yeah, is it, it's like, is it sitting on a fan? You know, oh, no, it just gets shot out the back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a plane. Yeah, you know, yeah. like when you do a shoot. I was plane. imagining, yeah. you know, those people, they have those hats and they've got beer on both sides <laughs> and the straws. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> it goes from your nose into the. Imagine you just like talking to someone, you see this green shit just coming out of there. <laughs> you don't yeah, like it. goes into the pour a, back. Bit, pour a bit of your runny nose into their like soft drink mm. if you don't like them. Okay. Um, they had a reasonable the, those response. were all terrible. <laughs> uh, maybe, Perfect. M- maybe the aircon one's a bit more practical. I feel like getting an air conditioner down into the size of a clown like nose is cold, the hardest you part. You get the runny nose. Um, is that true? But I'm, ta- I'm talking sub-zero. I'm talking this is a liquid. It cannot stay a liquid because it's so, so cold. It's not an air conditioner. It's a freezer. You might get hypothermia, you're gonna but get you frostbite. won't have a runny nose. Okay, I'm back on Peter's idea. Right? Frost, yeah. Frostbite nose. You can't frostbite have a runny nose. really if you... didn't sell my idea when we got to <laughs> Yeah, that. I was going to say, you can't have a runny nose if your nose falls off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you... Yeah. All right, here's the next one. I don't know what you're going to call it. Forgetting what you walked into a room for. I don't know how you're going to fix it without a notepad, but uh, let's see your best idea. Forgetting. You know, like when you walk in your room, you're like, 
What am I here for? You don't remember? Mm. I feel like I got a side grade of that. Ooh. <laughs> a what? Okay, I'll just say my side grade first. So, like, it's not an upgrade. It's not a fix to the problem. But if you want to learn how to lucid dream, whenever you walk into a room, you can... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Just let me okay, finish. Okay, go on. Whenever you walk into a room, you can ask yourself, am I dreaming? And then, like, in a similar vein, oh. like, every time you're heading to a room, you can try and, like, ask yourself, what am I doing? And, like, make just make it a force of habit. That sounds you like know? an upgrade. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it is an upgrade, I guess. I really hate but, coming up with a product when I, <laughs> as I said that out loud, but uh, it's so pretty good. I was thinking an instructional DVD <laughs> that's all telling you how to do dance moves that start with like a walk, because then if you walk into this room, forget what you're there, you can do your dance move and it's like a twirl, and then you can get out, and then no one will question. They like, they won't be like, why was oh, he in here? Oh, you just strutted in, right. and you fucking hit the floor. You were doing some yeah, fucking yeah. whap dancing. And everyone's like, well, I have no. And then you're like, well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that guy clearly knows what he's doing. <laughs> so that fixes that fixes the social aspect. But what if what you went into the room for was really important? Like, you you had to go if in. It's really important. Yeah, he's probably got a point there. No, but if it's yeah. If it's really important, you'll well, leave the you room do with your forget sick- something really important. Then it can't be that important. <laughs> You're just fucking dancing. <laughs> it's like you had to call the hospital about like <laughs> I'm getting, getting an ambulance and you just do a twirl. <laughs> I'm it's dead on the floor. There's a room with a fire extinguisher in it. The room behind you on fire. You walk in, you're just like, ow! <laughs> 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 Jordan, Jordan, yeah, look, I've got nothing. <laughs> I reckon I'm gonna invest in Peter's idea because yes. I love to see the dance. <laughs> yes. Damn, Peter's winning this Shark Tank. Have, you had, it. Uh, have you had Lucid Dream Sack? I have, and I, I've had two. With that strat, oh, and I had this. one recently. There's a lot of different strats on how to have lucid dreams. I might save this for a whole segment because I'm very passionate about sleep science and lucid dreaming. You did not shut up about lucid dreams for like a month. It yeah. was like a few months ago. And then and I went it off it a bit because I didn't have enough lucid dreams. But I've had one recently because I randomly woke up at 4 a.m. after drinking, uh, watched a YouTube video, and then like if you wake up very early, stay awake for like an hour, and then go back to sleep, that's actually the best way to have a lucid dream. And as you're falling asleep, you want to think like, when I'm dreaming, I'm going to be aware that I'm dreaming. And it's really weird because you realize you're dreaming and then you it feels like the whole world around you is like spinning and you're losing balance so you want to like hell concentrate on looking at your hands or something simple to just oh like keep God. you from waking up and you can like feel yourself waking up once you realize it's a dream and i've only managed to stay in there and be able to control it once it was pretty cool. Maybe I'll try to do that by the next podcast. Yeah. <laughs> can we all? Can we have underdogs try to learn how to lose a dream? <laughs> That'll be a fucking good I'll give video you the honest. tutorial. That's my next segment. I've anyway. already heard it so many times. <laughs> um, wait. Uh, did I post another one? No. No. Can't no. find the end of the tape. What What type what of tape? What do you mean? Like, the sticky you know, tape. Like the when it's a roll. Oh, tape, right. I think you meant like measuring tape. tape. Oh, no, yeah. You know, like, hey, you yep, yep, yep. it. You gotta come up with a product. A pin. <laughs> and you, you roll it across it, and then it will find it. Oh, I got an idea. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. Like, if you just keep tabbing it with a pin across the top, it'll yeah. eventually oh, catch. open it. Yeah, yep. okay. How about this one? So, the main problem with finding the end of the tape is the fact that it's always stuck so close to the roll, right? Uh-huh. Just make the tape not sticky at all. Or, like, very little. So then the end won't really stick down. Mm. He's and right, then it'll you know. always be loose. Uh huh. You never <laughs> said it had to be sticky tape. You just said tape. I, did <laughs> I think. So checkmate. What, what's the tape for then? Just having some clear stuff. <laughs> some clear plastic. Some clear ribbon. <laughs> All right. I'll counterpoint. I don't think the problem is that it's too sticky. I think that it's too thin. So yeah. if we just have tape that's like a foot thick. Yep. You're not going to lose the You're end. not going to lose the end because it's going to be like a freaking like step. It's going to be a drop off. Mm-hmm. You're never going to lose it. Peter might be I feel very like commandingly winning. Didn't we fix this problem that's with bad those, for the, environment, the tape though, that's Peter. like got a serrated edge and you know it's got that little like oh, looks yeah. like a snail. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a snail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like someone's already come up with a good solution for this one. Yeah, that's true. No, nah, I like mine actually. <laughs> the other way is to lick it. Um, if you like... You'd fold the end If over. you lick the entire outside... <laughs> And then you're gonna, your tongue's gonna be able to feel it because there's actually a lot of, like, sense receptors on your tongue, mm. like touch sense. Just rub it so, all your real sensitive area. <laughs> if you get me a roll of tape, I could eyes closed lick the circumference and tell you where the end of the tape oh, is. Oh, can we do this? What's the product? 
I don't want to do <laughs> tongue. it. <laughs> tongue. Yeah. Use your friggin' noggin and get your tongue out, tongue idiot. Tongue TM. Okay. Uh, next problem. Sand. Sorry? Sand. Sand. Oh, God. Problem sand. Oil the sand. Oil makes things not stick. <laughs> uh, all you got to do... True. Yeah. So, so what, what we do, we come up with a... Up. Yeah, oil all the beaches, obviously. Or oil the beaches. <laughs> oil the beaches. Isn't okay, maybe out? maybe oil yourself. Yeah. That's both sexy and... Is that why people do it? I Sometimes... think it would make sand stick to you more. Really? But oil's, like, not sticky. Okay, what about you spray yourself in that <laughs> stuff that... You know, like, they have those infomercials and water bounces off it? Well, hydrophobic, yeah. like... Sunscreen? Could mm. you hydrophobic sunscreen? Sun cream's probably... Oh, yeah, hydrophobic sun cream. That won't rub in. Yeah. What about you cling problem. wrap yourself? Ooh. Okay, that's enough. For I feel like I've had a lot of great ideas <laughs> and nothing's come from the I other. I think if you just have like a hoverboard, you'll be chilling. Oh. Like, just go over straight into the beach. Oh, so straight into the water. Don't touch any sand at all. And yes. Stick to you. Not bad. Why don't straight. you just move to a country that has shit beaches without any sand? Oh, yeah, like, like go in to Europe England. and stuff, they have, like, rocks. Yeah, and you just have a pebble France. beach. France, yeah. Mm. And then you don't have to worry about sand, and you just have these lovely plonky crap beaches and you're fine that blew my mind there was like my one of my friends he like used to live in france and then he was like you have to drive like seven hours to get to the beach yeah that just like yeah australia's <sighs> just a big island. like seven minutes Yeah, because yeah. everyone lives around the coast yeah. here well not everyone almost everyone you see like the population map it's all around the outside yeah there's yeah. just big like nothing in the middle like almost everyone's about an hour away from the beach maximum I don't think there's a good solution for this just the hearing everyone's solution hearing was our don't ideas. go to the sand do you have any ideas for <laughs> no, this no these yourself? are just problems I have I don't know oh, what you yeah. guys had in mind um too much ice in your drinks and you like drink it and it gets in your nose oh and yeah you can't drink oh god colander in the glass like at the top yeah Not so there. you know like uh, the pasta Drain, like the strainer. Oh. The pasta drainers that fit perfectly in the pots. Yeah. yeah. You have that, but for a cup. So you push the ice down and the top bit sort of locks on. It's got gaps in that the water like fits the through. Pots? I'm pretty sure they have this for cocktails. I'm pretty sure this is already a thing. Is it really? Well, I've just invented... I didn't know it was a thing, can I point out? And I've just had the great idea within seconds. Like, you never see when they <laughs> make a cocktail and they pour it... They put the thing on top and then yeah, pour it into the glass and that. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, they do. I feel like that might already be a thing. So Good job, Zach. It's not Thanks. on glasses, though. Like, you can't, you don't drink out of that. Mm. But then they... Hmm. The thing is, you have to get it fit specifically to the glass, which is like... You could, could you couldn't just plonk it in. You can't pull the ice in. What about heavy ice? <laughs> 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 so, your your typical ice tray now has no, 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 but if you tip weighted the... marbles in it. No, he's got a point here. <laughs> Oh, what, Jackson's got a point? No, no, no you've got you. a great point, Zach. No, 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 but if you tip the glass if past 90 degrees, then the ice, ice comes at your face even, even faster. Because <laughs> you, you can't you gotta drink like this. Yeah. Well, like, you know, water is the only, like, thing, thing where the solid is less dense than the liquid, so it's the only thing where the solid floats on the liquid, right? Which is why animals exist. Yeah, part <laughs> of it. <laughs> no, he, he is actually right. <laughs> it's true. Okay. <laughs> and all be so, dead. instead of drinking water... Just drink something else. Mercury. Yeah, drink mercury, <laughs> because then your mercury ice blocks will be at the bottom of your glass all the time. That's so smart. Did you know that, though? Because otherwise, like, the ocean, it freezes at, at, at the top. Yeah, but the ocean doesn't always freeze over. But, but you know, otherwise that would all sink to the floor. Kill fish, kill plants. I don't think it would end life, but it means that things can oh. live in lakes when it freezes over the top. Antarctica yeah, that's what would I mean. be at the yeah. bottom of the ocean. Oh, but so the like, whole world was in an ice age at one point. It was Everything never fully frozen over. Nah, they all would have died, though. <laughs> nah. Hmm. I feel like that's problem solved. What's uh, what's our next one, boss? <laughs> Drink <laughs> mercury. <laughs> problem yeah. solved. Well, I mean, I came up with that other one that seemed good, too. Heavy ice was pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what... Just... There's not really a product for this, but does this happen to you where you forget your password and then you reset it to your current password? Yeah. Oh, Relatable, yeah. dude. Yeah, I hate that. I feel like that's like going to be laid out as a rage comic. You know, it's like, you know, let me change trying to enter password yeah. and there's like a rage face at the bottom. Let me. Oh, that was a good time. Are they yeah. called rage comics? Yeah. 
I don't know what. Like, you're like a boss about. You know, like, and like, yeah, like troll face. Let me at the shops. Let girl at the counter. Me. Uh, nah. This is free. Let her. Oh, troll. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a good description. If you don't get it from that, you're talking if you don't about, get it from that, man. you don't know what's up. Like 2000, like I don't know. 12, you're such a zoomer, 11? Jordan. I've seen. I'm Earlier old than that, Jordan. it's like 2008. I remember being in year eight. They're very old school. Oh yeah, they wait. They are. Yeah. I've seen the troll face. Is that <laughs> yeah, in comics with all the other faces? Oh, like that. Jordan, nah. you're Me so like, no. Kind of Jordan, such a zoomer. Jordan's a zoomer. Him. Uh, I think the best invention for this one is just to use the same password for everything. You know, high risk, high reward. <laughs> high, risk. <laughs> high risk. If someone cracks your one password, you're you're they've fucking, got you good. It life's over. But if no one ever gets it, then it's pretty easy to think of. Mm-hmm. Just think of a really hard one, but then learn it to the point that you remember it. Or just think of a password so hard that you never remember it. So every time you type in change your password, you won't remember it. Mm. Make your password Wait, absolute what? nonsense every time. Just reset your password every time. You'll never reset so it as the tough. same thing. But you know you need to put in your old password before you make a new one. Oh, you got a confirmation no, you email. No. When you forget your password. <laughs> oh, what? yeah, true. true. So I forgot my password. Like smash your keyboard. <laughs> yeah. And, and always yeah. use confirmation emails. Yeah. Yeah. Not the most time efficient, but very secure. It's a, I very like. secure. It's a good product you've invented. Very product. secure. Product Idea. mash keyboard. <laughs> uh, one more. It's a, the product is something that mashes your keyboard for you. It's just a very irregularly <laughs> shaped object. Like a fly swatter. You, you slam on the keyboard. <laughs> you just drop an irregular shape on your keyboard. Is this the last problem or is this the biggest and baddest? No, this is just, these are all just like small problems I've had throughout the week and they kind nice. of annoyed me. Yep. Um, this one I don't really have, this don't have a product for, but do you guys answer unknown number calls? Yeah. I don't. I got a really weird one that was zero 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 one 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 zero 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 zero, and it was actually like my local electronics store that I had recently what? done an online purchase from. It was from Harvey Norman. Wow. I don't think uh, many countries will get that reference, but it's like an yeah, they do electronics. I had ordered a camera off them, and it was like confirmation, but it just looked like the biggest load of crap. Spam call. I thought I was gonna get like murdered or something like over the phone. <laughs> something crazy is gonna happen. Your like, phone blows up as soon as you hit to answer. That's the kind of phone call you get where if you answer it, you've taken the red pill and like the simulation breaks down. It's like <laughs> that's a glitch in the system, you know. You shouldn't have answered that. <laughs> it's all ones and zeros. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, I do, but it's partly because. I mean, it's usually something to do with, like, work or something or something important. Yeah. And I feel like you don't want to be missing those calls because then the problem just compounds if it's, like, something important. Mm, But also, I am so bad at saving people's numbers for some reason. Like, I have nobody's number in my phone. Oh, your contact list is, like... Yeah, it's, like, no one. And so, like... nobody calls anymore, right? Yeah, nobody calls. And so then if someone does have my number or from way back or if I, like... I don't know why they would have it. If they do, I should pick it up because I'll be like, oh, hey... It's my sister. Like, I don't even have yeah. a number to say. Like, like, isn't it the difference, like, the... It still comes up with a number, right? Yeah. I'm thinking about... You know when it comes up, it's this unknown number. Some people just put their mm. settings as that, though, I when they that. call. Who does that? You know what you should do, Peter? Make, like, a post on Facebook asking for all your friends' phone numbers. Say, like, just got a new phone. <laughs> if you guys could post your number below. New phone, who dis? Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Honestly, I never answer my phone. Yeah, I don't think... I, I, I always, always have like, it on do not... I number it is first, and then I see from there. Huh, it's 2020. I always Zoomers. have it on do not disturb, so I just never see it in the first place. I feel like if something's that important, that it'll event- the message will eventually get to me. I feel like anyway. if something's important, people will call you rather <laughs> yeah, than yeah, message you. Yeah, that's what I was, I was agreeing with you until you came up with that. But I don't know much about I that. just never answer the phone. People I'm only like- call if it's important. Like, I don't know, mess- they message if it's not important. It sucks because it's like 70% telemarketers for me, but 30% oh, really important shit. Mine's a s- <laughs> freaking scam. It's always been like, your tax has not been done. Yeah, yeah. If you do not yeah. reply, you you, we will yeah. take you in jail. I and it's always that. so stupid. Honestly, Dude. I've never got this. Yeah, because you've never picked up the phone. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I got that once and I thought it was le- like legit because I have like... You, like my, I had just put in my tax oh, and tax it was like, like the first right? time I had done YouTube. So I was like self-declaring my income and saying like expenses that was mm. like related to equipment and stuff. And then I was like, uh, yeah, 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 just one second before you take me to court. And I like messaged my dad on Facebook. And then he was like, oh, if they don't specifically like say blah, blah, blah. I think it's that they have to say they're from the ATO immediately or mm-hmm. something like that. They have yeah. to say like, you can a- ask questions and, and stuff and they can and declare stuff. it yeah. and all that stuff. They won't just call a random person. But it is scary sounding. That's the, that's the oh, idea, yeah. right? But then oh, I was just like... Fine. They freak me out. Not for like, I'm scared of my taxes. I'm scared of whoever's on the end. Poor old people. <laughs> they would like they fall, fall for, for that, that all the time. 
I was seeing this really interesting thing, and there was like a post saying how um, deep fakes are gonna be so oh, bad for so old bad. people. Because oh, imagine, oh, like, shit. they're so believable, right? And it's yeah. like your nephew or something. They can just get your face off Facebook. And then they're like, hey, grandma, I'm in jail. I need $2,000 for bail or whatever. <laughs> FaceTime from jail. <laughs> hey, they just let me on the, the Zoom call, grandma. <laughs> the thing is, if you see your, nep- yeah, if you see your nephew's that face... That would work on me, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, they're going to believe you, right? It's going to be so bad when they become mm. so easily distributed. And I was like, there needs to be some kind of solution for that yeah, because... That's terrifying. That's actually, like, legit scary. It's like negative scamming innocent people out of thousands of dollars... Positive, we get the my middle name. That's like the positive yeah. memes. Yeah. The dame dane versus grandma gets scared. <laughs> or it's Fair like trade. someone just posts like the president just saying like something mm. on Twitter. Like imagine. Oh, honestly, was... you probably couldn't come up with anything worse than what Trump says as himself. <laughs> I know, but what if he's like, we're going to war with this country and it's yeah. a deep yeah, fake? That's actually... be like, oh. Shit. That's so scary. It's pretty yikes, I haven't really it? thought about that before. Should Deep we end terrifying. the podcast on that positive note? Yeah. Should we yeah. ask? Do you, do you want to ask us another question? You oh, finished like your question, question last time. Um, so just something to have us oh, chat us out. Something positive. Positive. Do you guys take time for yourself to like meditate or just like actually do nothing, or do you guys always seem to be like playing games or? I meditate every morning. Thing. You meditate every really? morning. Yeah. That's How really I good, like Jordan. Or, only like, but it's like I do yoga. Wait, every morning this is what I do. I wake up. <laughs> I, I, I wake up. up. <laughs> good. That's a good start. <laughs> and then I do like exercise, yoga, and then meditate. But like all of that oh, together shit. only takes like 40 minutes or 50 You're, minutes. Really? You're actually one of like the vloggers that does a day in my life. And I'm like, <laughs> fucking bullshit. You don't wake up, eat your granola and like perfect breakfast, meditate, exercise, that's why organize I, your day in your planner. I'm like, no fucking way. That's why I don't do it for... I, I exercise for 20 minutes, do yoga for 20 minutes or 10 minutes and then like meditate for five minutes. But then you, it's like I you can do it every anything. day. What do you do for exercise for 20 in 20 minutes? What can you do I, in 20 minutes? Like YouTube something. This is like arm dumbbell workout, 20 okay. minutes. And then it's can we like, change I just this do to that. morning routine? No, I like the question before because oh, I was... Wait, what you can was do, it? It's like, do you ever take time okay. for yourself? Like, to just like have time because i know like, i don't in the modern day like I, know, I don't feel like you do at all so no, I, I work for youtube a lot and then oh well, like t- time of myself in terms of like i entertain myself with like i set aside time to watch youtube videos or go out with yeah. friends but like i never meditate i, I guess it's more like doing nothing maybe like even mm. like listening to music or like nah. something like that because you say you don't listen to music see that's why i was going to lead into my morning routine because it's so shit <laughs> so <laughs> i have an alarm that wakes me up at eight and makes me get out of bed and if I listen to that, I'll turn the shower on. I go feed my cats, which is good. But then I'll often look at my phone in the shower, which is very bad for productivity. What do you... How and do you then... Waterproof. It's waterproof. Oh, what the Almost all yeah, modern no, phones that's, that's the life hack you don't want to hear about. Because what then, my phone is. Like, I feel like shower is a good time to take a moment for yourself. But then, like, I just... Now that I've got, like... I get bored now. Which is, like, so <laughs> Just have bad. shorter showers. Yeah, you but it's, like... get bored in the shower. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh. You've then, like, I clean myself, and then brain. I want to stay in there for longer because, like, it's nice and warm. But then it's like, what do I do? So I look absolutely no. baffled by this. this I, yeah, that's crazy. I, I oh, used really? to be, like, I couldn't take a... Sh- like, I didn't go that far, but it's like, I couldn't take a shower without listening to music and stuff because mm. I'd just be spamming my brain all the time. So then, like, yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I'm a bit like, like that. I, try, I have to, like, force myself to take time for myself. And I've only la- started doing it in the last, like, six months or something. In the last couple Can of months. Can you tell me how it's gone? Great. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I, really, I was actually should. so hard at first. Like, it just feels so unnatural, and but, then it just becomes like so second nature, and you just like crazy. Hopefully, since I've got an editor for YouTube now, I'll feel slightly less pressure to be. I feel like I just feel pressure to be working all the time, and because it takes me sometimes like four days to edit a video, mm. I'll be like, "Oh, that should have only taken two days," and then I'll like start the next video immediately it have and to be still long. feel yeah. like I'm behind. You can do like a guided minutes. meditation mm. thing in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, like if you download the Headspace app or something, yeah. there's this like free thing that mm. we had. We were doing it for like as part of our frisbee team because like they wanted to have we have a mindfulness session at the end of each thing, and where you'd be like. Yeah. Taking a moment to try and consolidate what you'd kind of learn to whatever. But it's also just good for your mental game and stuff. Because, like, all sports are a big mental game. Yeah. And so, like, there's the Headspace app for that. And then you do that in your own time. And mm. then you'd also do, like, a bit of mindfulness. Maybe, like, five, ten minutes at the end of the training. Mm-hmm. Like, guided breathing and stuff like that. It That's... doesn't have to be long. And I feel like it makes your day more productive. For me, if I just, like, get up straight up in the morning and start writing, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. That's... I just, like, clear my head. And then I can, like, kind of think out what I'm going to do a bit after the... 
taking time to do nothing. Is there a way to do that without meditating? What? Like, I don't, I don't, I guess I haven't really tried it, but I just feel like meditation is not for me. It sounds lame, but if you There's do the guided types. breathing one, like, if you, what do you think meditation involves? I don't know, just sitting doing nothing. Yeah, no, you listen to this thing and it runs you through things and it gets you to think about certain things and gets you to do different breathing stuff. It's not like it's just like, and silence. Like, yeah. that's lame as fuck. Like, I'll it's meditate actually in good. my dreams. You can start with yeah, yoga. Learn how to be better Yoga's at lucid dreaming. Right. Yoga's kind of like elite, the like gateway drug into meditating. <laughs> gateway it drug. is though, because it's, it's like true. you hold a position and then you just focus yeah. on your breathing yeah. and stuff. But yeah. What but, I do for my time at the moment now is I have a gratitude journal, mm -hmm. which is like a little thing where you just write what you're grateful for and what I happened that day. I heard about this like, kind of recently. And they're meant to be really good for your mental health yep. in is general. Is that every day? It doesn't have to be. Like, I think the, perp the point of this one that makes me feel a lot better about doing it is that in the intro part of it, it's like, you don't have to do this every day. You don't have to do it every second day. Do it whenever you feel. Yeah. This is what we think is the best for yeah. results, but anything is better than nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I agree. it's like there is no way to fail doing this. If you miss a day or you miss a week or you miss a month, just pick it back up and go again. Yeah. It's not like anyone's pressuring you to do it. That's like the exercise thing where it's like you should just go for a run. Yeah. And it's like if you run for one minute and you're done, that's fine. It's, it's better like, than nothing. But nine times out of ten, you start running for one minute and then it's fine. Mm. You yeah. have to like think to yourself when you're doing that. Because I also, for my girlfriend's dad, he's a gardener and he has to put letters in people's mails. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that for like once a week for like, you just walk around for two hours doing that. <laughs> and then, I don't know, that's still just like chill time as yeah, well. Yeah, I find my Woolworths job really good for just like unwinding Yeah, in a weird way. Just hey, like you guys are so mindless. good for this. Every now and then, like recently, I'll just like drive the car with no radio for like a bit. Yeah. And just good. like chill. Oh, that's Windows torture down. for me. I love singing to the car. Yeah. I'll just singing do it every now and then. <laughs> yeah, I'm not singing to anyone car. else. Yeah. <laughs> but also I keep like a diary that I fill out every oh, Zach's oh, getting, getting two weeks. Flex. I'm getting flexed <laughs> on. I do like nothing for myself, but I also feel like I have like very good mental health. You, I think which, you so have I don't like feel some like, of the best mental health of anyone I know. And I am productive enough. I could definitely be more productive. And some days I feel like I like kind of wasted a bit, but then like... I don't think it's necessarily about being productive though. It, like, it's not like meditation is there to make you feel productive. It's just like... No, I've heard that meditating in the morning and not immediately like looking at screens and thinking about stuff like that can actually make you more productive for the whole day. Yeah, I definitely Like agree morning that. routines I'm are sure big can. one. But Which I feel is like... why I think starting to make my own breakfast is the closest I've got. That's Because I like, I cook myself like eggs and avocado on toast like every day pretty much. Mm. For me, I actually started meditation for like being better at Smash Bros. <laughs> 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 not gonna End lie. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, um, you know, like, Kobe Bryant and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Like, he was, like, his coach and stuff, they were all really into meditation. Because mm. meditation, like, the point of it is, like, to kind of separate your brain from your feelings, kind of. So it's, like, you can see your feelings from another perspective. Yeah. So it's mm. really good with helping with anxiety or worrying in tournaments Here's or thinking of other stuff. Something I heard recently, it's, like, I don't know how much your brain speaks to you guys, like, negatively, but mine can be pretty bad. But it's, like... If you had a friend that said this stuff to you that your brain says to you, you wouldn't be friends with them. So why do you listen to your brain? That's yeah, true. it's like your brain has different parts. On like, like a different really not productive it. day, I'm just like, fuck, why do you watch like so much yeah. YouTube or like you haven't done any editing and like you got to get this yeah. video out in if like If Peter the... came in and you started doing that, you'd be like, can you get the fuck out? <laughs> 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 That's probably like the most That's like, why stressed or like good. bad I'll feel. But in my like everyday life, I'm like yeah. very happy. So Dude, that went for so long, I feel, but that was good. Yeah. That good was talk. quiet. Wholesome <laughs> times. Yeah. That was pretty wholesome, apart from me <laughs> on that no, last I feel section. Like but you're... Comment below things that I should do, because I'm genuinely interested. I'm not huge on meditation. Dude, but if download other the little Headspace things, app, and it'll take like two minutes oh, a day. Maybe. Two minutes! <sighs> Stretch in the morning. Or do I'd, yoga. I'd love to hear do any yoga. sort of I think stretching's really good. <laughs> but also, if I don't like them, I'm fine as, I, as is. <laughs> any suggestions, as long as they're not Peter's. <laughs> All right. Well, Thanks there we listening. go. Thank you for listening to this week's podcast. If you made it to podcast. the end, you are an absolute chat. What are we, an hour and Oh, 20? did we just give people another thing to comment below? Shit. Nobody's <laughs> going to get this far to comment that one below. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Bye.